This is Wine News Weekly with Jay Jackson. Hello, I'm Jay Jackson. Welcome to Wine News Weekly. It's called the China Food and Drinks Fair, but industry professionals call it something else. The Disneyland of Fakes, the 102nd four-day fair held in Tianjin, is notorious for displaying and selling phony high-end wines. For instance, you'll see bottles of wine that have labels that look like first-growth Bordeaux wines, but have slightly different chateau names, or fake Petruches that are just lookalikes, and a Burgundy that's bottled in the famed glass of Chateau Neuf de Pop. Legal experts say little can be done about it because, in many cases, China does not enforce foreign intellectual property laws. A proposed new winery in Napa Valley got the green light to move forward. The new Scarlet Winery will be located just east of Rutherford. It will feature a two-story, 4,500 square foot tasting room, 18,000 square foot production building, and equipment warehouse. Local residents, however, were opposed to the 30,000 gallery winery because of traffic and environmental concerns. But Napa County supervisors dismissed those complaints in a three-to-one vote of approval. A Boston wine shop was awarded one of the nation's most prestigious small business awards. The Urban Grape Wine Store is the 2021 winner of Boston's Dream Big Small Business of the Year Award from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. The owner, T.J. Douglas, says his goal is to promote diversity in wine. Douglas even started a fund to help students of color studying wine at the University of Boston. And finally, the Wine News Weekly Wine of the Week, presented by Coco Vino Los Angeles. It's the 2018 Foley Johnson Rutherford Cabernet Sauvignon. Black cherry, mocha, and figs are the highlights of this full-bodied Napa cab. Learn more about it at CocoVinoLA.com. And that's all for this episode of Wine News Weekly. If you're watching on YouTube, please visit our sponsors listed in the description section below. Thank you for watching and subscribing. I'm Jay Jackson. Cheers. This is Wine News Weekly with Jay Jackson.